Welcome, welcome back, and I need help at C square. In this example, A, B, C, D, what is given is the fact that it's a parallelogram, and we need to find the value of the variables x, z, and also y, which you, you notice is right here in the measure of angle 1. Okay, so first of all, again, we notice this is a parallelogram, which means B, C, and A, D, these two sides are parallel and congruent. That is a property of a parallelogram. The same with A, B, and D, C. These two sides are parallel and congruent, right? So what we notice here, we notice here that is a, this is a very special parallelogram. is a parallelogram that has all sides congruent. Moreover, we notice that angle D here, in fact, I should call it angle ADC, is a right angle. So that means this ABCD is a square. It's still a parallelogram, but it's a special type of a parallelogram is a square. Because a square is a parallelogram with four congruent sides and one right angle. That is one way to define a square. So now we know better what this shape is. So we'll, we're going to use the property of a square to find this variable. And the first thing I'm going to look is this angle 1. In a square, diagonals are perpendiculars. BD is perpendicular on AC. This is a property of a square. So that means the measure of angle 1 is 90 degrees which means I have an equation that will allow me to find y, the measure of angle 1 is 7y plus 15 equals 90. I'm going to subtract 15. And that is 75. And the last thing for finding y, define, divide by 7. So y will be 75 over 7. That will be the simplest possible form in the fraction form. If you need a decimal, you can use a calculator. But I'm going to stop here with the y. And now we can look to uh, x and z. And let's start to this angle that has x in it. That angle is 45 degree. Why? Don't forget this is a square. So diagonal AC bisect angle BAD which is 90 degrees. So I'm going to write here the measure of angle CAD. It's 45 degree. It's half of angle BAD, which is 90 degree. So that means 5x is equals 45 divided by 5, we get x equals 9. Similar, we can approach this angle. Angle DCA is 45 degrees. Why? Because the diagonal AC bisect angle BCD, which is 90 degrees. So we're going to have 3Z equals 45. And divide by 3, we get Z equals 15. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared for more help. Thank you.